Hey everybody, Joe Casabona here, and today I'm going to show you how to transfer a domain to Hover. Now specifically, I'm going to transfer this domain from Media Temple to Hover. I like having all of my domains in one place, so as I get a renewal notice from another domain registrar, I start the transfer process. Uh, one thing to note is that here on the screen now, you'll see the Media Temple authentication code area. We're going to need to request an authentication code basically to verify we own this domain or that the owner of the domain is allowing a domain transfer so that authentication code will get emailed to us and we will have it for reference later but in inside hover uh, once you log in you'll have a list of your domains you can go ahead and click on transfer to start the transfer process then we'll type in the domain once we type in the domain, we'll see if it's transferable. The first thing that Hover is going to check here is that the domain is not locked. If it's locked, it cannot be transferred. The domain is not locked, and so uh, I can go ahead and transfer it. Uh, and this will uh, cost $12.99. Uh, that includes one year for renewal. That's why I try to do it around renewal time um, because I don't want to do it like right when the domain renews and then essentially pay for um, an extra year just to transfer it. So I'm going to add this to the cart and I'm going to proceed to checkout. Here is where that authentication code or authorization code is going to come in. So I'm going to paste that here in the form and click submit the authorization code is good to go. So I'm going to check out here. And once I confirm all of the details, I can go ahead and submit my order. All right, so I will receive confirmation via email once the domain is transferred. Uh, but there is one more thing I want to do during this time. So once the order is complete, I do have access to the DNS area. And so in order to ensure that uh, there's no downtime as the domain switches registrars, I'm going to copy the entire DNS, all of the DNS records from my old registrar to the new registrar. That way it is a seamless move. Luckily, in this case, it is the name servers uh, that need to be changed the DNS is managed by the host so um, all I will need to do once the domain transfer is complete is update the name servers which I'll be able to do uh, right after transfer so uh, just be mindful of that as you make a transfer from one domain registrar to another uh, before you do the transfer you might want to take a screenshot of the domain settings over at the old registrar just in case you can no longer access them once the transfer is initiated but uh, transferring a domain to hover is as easy as that you uh, initiate the transfer you get the authorization code from your domain registrar your current domain registrar uh, and then you uh, make the transfer pay for an extra year and make sure the name servers are all up to date now the reason i decided to show media temple here aside from the fact that Media Temple is where the domain is currently registered is if you go to the uh, tutorial for how to transfer a domain to hover there is no instruction for Media Temple so uh, they do have detailed instructions for places like GoDaddy and one and one where uh, perhaps the authorization code is a little bit more obscured luckily Media Temple makes it pretty clear on how to get an authorization code there's a button a big button that you press in order to get it and then it gets emailed to you so that's it for this video i hope you liked it if you did be sure to click the thumbs up down below and subscribe to this channel for more great content